Hello, my name is Violet Wave, and this is my bookshelf tour. Coming up on the top, I have these paintings I made. This jar of notes that I take when I edit each morning. Some hair elastics, some shells, and then some beauty and hygiene products. I have my EpiPen, a jade roller. I have my cat, my puppy, and my other two dogs. I have my oracle and tarot cards. A thing of Smarties, chapstick, a bunch of hand sanitizer, and some candles. And then every, it's all on a Voyager Cat Monopoly game I made. For a shelf, I have all of these crystals. Some crystals in a little dish and this fake plant that Acorn Feather got for me. And then I have the Dawn of the Clans arc, the Prophecy Begins arc, and the first four of the new Prophecy arc on the shelf. Behind those, I have the field guides and five of the super editions. I have four super editions in hardcover, which isn't my favorite, but I'm too impatient to wait for softcover. I have not read Leopard Stars on yet, but I'm planning to do it soon. The next cubby, I have more crystals. I really love Green Adventure, especially this one here. And I have my Selenite Dagger, which I also really love. And then I have last two from the new prophecy arc the Pro power of three arc and the omen of the stars arc i have the rest of the super editions in the first two novellas i like to organize my super editions and novellas from the date that they come out next shelf i have more crystals i know what a shocker and i have the vision of shadows arc and the broken code arc behind that i have the rest of the novellas the graphic novels and the, some of the survivors books because they don't all fit in this shelf and i have this boy cat characters book that i made that's just a list of all the boy cat characters on the next shelf i have a mug that acorn feather got for me full of pens sharpies and highlighters and i have this painting that apple heart made for me then i have the shatter me series i am missing one book because it's been out of stock for about four months so i'm waiting for that and I have King of Battle and Blood and Ash Princess. Then I have the rest of the Survivor series that I own. The first two books of the Secret series, Legend, the Inheritance Game, Verity, which I think that's how you pronounce it, To Kill a Kingdom, the Famax, the Rule of Three series, You Reach Sam, and a fashion book. And then I have an astrology book for my Zodiac sign for this year. On the next shelf, I have three Funko Pops from Harry Potter. I have Dumbledore's Patronus, McGonagall's Patronus, and Snape's Patronus. Behind those, I have a Spellbook of the Lost and Found, Six of Crows, All the Light We Cannot See, It Ends With Us, Girl in Pieces, The Hunger Games series, and The Maze Runner series. Then I have The Empress, Brightly Burning, Empress of a Thousand Skies, From Blood and Ash, and then a few books from when I was younger. Wizards, a Horse's Shadow, Bailey's Story, Waggett's Tale, Verjack Paw, Write Your Own Horoscope, Mastering the Tarot, Dog's Purpose, A Dog's at Home, and A Dog's Journey. On the next shelf, I have more Harry Potter Funko Pops. I have Snape, Cedric, Harry, and Jenny all from the fourth movie and the Yule Ball outfits. And I have the first book in Slytherin edition of Harry Potter, the Harry Potter series, and then The Cursed Child. There's not much behind those books besides unofficial Harry Potter cookbook, and the first three books of Keeper of the Lost Cities. On the next shelf, I have this little pink trash can from Sheen. And then I have the Percy Jackson series and Nameless Queen. Nameless Queen would be my favorite standalone book for sure, but obviously I like Warriors better. Behind those books, I have the Athena Factor, Out of the Dark, and Shell of the Lions, which I have not read yet, but I got them for $1 each at a book sale, so I got them. And then some books from when I was little is the second book of Chestnut Hill. I don't think I ever got the first one. It was a gift. And then I got the first three books of Wildwood Stables and the Owl Diaries. And then I have the Can Dear Canada Diaries and I have them in rainbow order, of course. <laughs> On the next shelf, I have this purple painting that Acorn Feather made for me and this beach painting that I made a couple years ago. The books on the shelf are Cats and Baskets, which is basically a cat picture book. Just Loves, which is a magazine. <laughs> I have first book of Mel Spell book. And the second one, because I used to love Descendants. <laughs> I have The Gruffalo, which was a story I loved when I was younger. 
Poffick Friends, which is a picture book of cats and dogs together. <laughs> Kitten Care. And Cat Care. The Girls Book of Adventure, which my mom got for me. I was out. <laughs> no origami book, because I used to love to do or or origami, jeez. <laughs> Serious signs and signals and codes, which is my aunt's book when she was little. A Harry Potter book, of course. <laughs> oh, stuck. Harry Potter characters in Lego. This is why I love Lego. I have two sticker by number books. I have this with my mom's book. It's Wizardology. Oof, that's loud. Sorry. <laughs> I have Me Too We. A Christmas Day Kitten, which was my grandma's. There's A Kiss Goodbye, which also goes with The Kissing Hand. The Owl Takes Charge. Alphabet Mystery. Guess How Much I Love You. Find in a pine tree. Dashing through the snow. Iris and Isaac. The Adventures of Little Wombat. Biscuit Storybook Collection. And then last but not least in the shelf, Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls, which is about women in history. In this cubby, I only have sketchbooks and notebooks, and I have a lot of notebooks. <laughs> On the next shelf, I have this crystal snow globe. I have a V pumpkin. And then I have the cockapoo handbook, because I have a cockapoo. The puppy bible, because I have a puppy. <laughs> the complete book of dogs. Good dog, which is information about different dogs. Cats, a book for all true cat lovers, which has been a bunch of cat reads. The dog, your best friend. The boxer, because I used to have a boxer. Book of dogs. Labrador retrievers, because I have a Labrador retriever. Kitten care and training. How to Speak Cat, which I don't think I've read yet, actually. It was a gift. National Geographic Kids from 2019. Encyclopedia of Pets and Pet Care. Freckles the Rabbit, which I may have taken from my elementary school library by accident. Puppy Secrets. The Total Cat Manual, and also the Total Dog Manual, that was loud. Ultimate Animals, some Geo Kids. I went through a polar bear phase when I was younger, so I have all of these polar bear books. And I have Woof. Unlikely Heroes, which has some really good animal stories in it. Cutest Kittens Ever. And then these books, which are about shelter dogs, finding home shelter dogs and their stories. And then Shelter Puppies. This box is my memory box. In that box, it just has random stuff in it. And then I have a clipboard that I've painted the back of. And then I have these boxes on the bottom that just have random stuff in them. That's it for my bookshelf tour. Thank you for listening and watching. Hi, it's oh, Violet Wave. Oh. Grace, you can go on the bed. That was stupid. <laughs> Grace, you ruined it. <laughs> Darting? Nope. <laughs> I was filming, Grace. <laughs> Cutting off. Okay, you weren't barking once I record you do. Hands arc. We have the new... The... Um... <laughs> Amber!
are. We have the Harry Potter. Did I just call Percy Jackson right oh now? Nope, that's stupid. The boxer, because they used to have a boxer. Max. <laughs> we should redo that. I fixed my AirPod. There's a good. My on the next shelf, I have this purple painting that my that behind those books I have the the, the ugh, no behind that I have the no. hello no 